Hey guys, you know, we live in pretty amazing times. I mean, the fact that you can have one device and then instantly and wirelessly communicate with another that's a world away, that's pretty incredible. So here's how it all works. In order for a device to connect to the internet, it needs a way for other devices to be able to find it, to know where it is. For example, when you connect your router to the internet for the first time, it's given a unique IP or internet protocol address by your internet service provider. This allows other devices to be able to find your router in an ocean of billions of other devices. So once your router is connected, you have a home network. And when you connect other devices to that network, they're also given their own IP addresses, but they're local IP addresses. So that means they have to go through your router in order to access the internet and vice versa. So let's take smart locks for example. Smart locks use embedded Wi-Fi chips to connect to the internet through your router. And during the initial setup process for your smart lock, your smartphone is giving your smart locks local IP address. So if you're at a party and you can't remember if you've locked your doors or not, you take out your smartphone, you send a command to lock your doors, and it eventually reaches your router and sends it to your smart lock directly, locking or unlocking your doors. Now smart locks are really cool technology and could one day make our lives a lot easier. However, like any new technology, there are some security concerns. The reality is that there are hackers out there, so proceed with caution knowing that there are some risk involved. 